<sighs> oh, it appears that I have some sort of audience. How rude. What a bunch of insolent, impertinent, impudent bastards. To have the strike your audacity to observe me awake from my slumber. Unbelievable. People these days so weak, pathetic, and lacking in decorum in comparison to the others. Oh yes, the others, the ones who came before. Before these terrible instruments of environmental destruction you walk on two legs. No, not a care in the world for my shimmering waters. No, no, it's all fine for you to simply dump all of your darn rubbish into my streams, isn't it? At least in your ignorant little brains. You know, you aren't the only animals living here. There are things called birds, fish, who I happen to be the home of a considerable few, and the trees too, along with others. I'll wager that you've never heard that before with your unconsciency. Anyhow, what was I drawling on about before you ignited a rant in me? Oh, of course. The ones who came before. I bet you want to know all about them, don't you? With your gaping mouths and bulging eyes. What? Have you never seen water rushing down a bed of sand and stone? No? No, naturally not. Since all you appreciate these days is those gimmicky screens which have had a glue to your faces all the time. Well, the ones you came before you with your unsophisticated, ghastly hooded garments, God knows the name of them, were civilised and illustrious peoples. The Celts, the Romans, the Saxons, the Vikings, the Normans. All much more decorous than you. Except for the Vikings. They were ruthless. At least they didn't choke my waters with oil and refuse, and at least they fought with gold. No matter. Everyone before your kind was superior to you in some manner, at least. Perhaps etiquette, bravery, or respect of nature. Which <laughs> one gets none of these days. I mean, it's not terribly difficult to surpass you lot. All I wish is for respect to be renewed once more towards nature and her pets. She, after all, is the upholder of all life, including yours, and all you do in payment is abuse her and leave her scarred. I just wish that you, the offspring of nature, would only realise what you're doing to her. Enough said. Now, stop drooling at my grandeur, or, if you must, have a picnic. Just stop standing there uselessly.